So any of you that come out to the Fountain Garden, um, you know, starting today, moving forward, you'll uh, notice some additional improvements that we've done. We continue to uh, test different methods of improving the water quality in the Fountain Garden Pond. And so uh, one thing that you'll see is a 10 foot by 5 foot or so floating um, wetland. And what that basically is, is it's um, made of a porous structure that has got fabric on the bottom that holds soil, but the roots from the planting can grow down into the water, absorb nutrients, and then when they mature, we'll harvest them, take them to the compost pile, and replant it. And so that's one way that we're testing, continuing to improve the water quality. The other thing that you may notice is uh, some are some additional uh, edge plantings of sedges and lilies, and then we also planted in a few places uh, some water lilies out in the pond um, to again help with absorbing uh, nutrients. And then the last thing that you may notice, uh, in the last 30 days we put in two additional aerators um, on either side of the fountain. The fountain of course was there when we opened in January, uh, but we just put in a couple of additional aerators to help oxygenate the water and then help uh, settle out the sediment down in the bottom. And now that we've got the landscaping done and we've got the aerators in, we're going to be uh, working with our topic expert, Sean Patton, and um, putting in uh, uh, stocking with algae-eating, native algae-eating fish. So we've gotten several questions related to uh, aspects of the uh, what folks are seeing when they walk on the uh, recently uh, open western half of the mangrove walk. One of those is related to the concrete structure with the wood fence that we just put up. That is a remnant um, of the old Selby Library and then later G. Wiz. Uh, what we're ultimately going to be doing as a part of our phase, phase one is honoring that history uh, of the Selby Library and of the site with uh, an interpretation of an outdoor reading room. All of that will come next year as a part of our phase one work. So in the short term, what you'll see is that we temporarily landscaped it with mealy grass and have put up a wood railing uh, because it's a six or seven foot drop off the back and we don't want folks falling off the backside of it. And then we'll be putting up a sign that uh, speaks to coming soon, the improvements at the reading room. So uh, anyway, any other questions that you have, feel free to reach out to us at askthebay.org.